I had a lot of fun making this rice bowl on stream the other night. So let me show you how I made it. I start off with grabbing a pork butt, season it with some salt and pepper, and then in a lightly oiled pan, I gave it a nice sear. Make sure you get a pretty decent sear on all sides. Now you can braise this in a Dutch oven or toss it in a pressure cooker. For the braising liquid, I just used some chicken stock with a bunch of pho herbs. Then I added the peel of a lime and a handful of garlic. Carefully place that in your pressure cooker and pressure cook it for about 40 minutes. While that's going, work on your sides. Washed rice, and then I made some pickled daikon radishes and carrots, starting off with equal parts water and vinegar with a little bit of salt and sugar. Peel and julienne, daikon radishes and carrots. You want about equal parts of each. This is much easier on a mandolin with the julienne attachment, but I had some time. And then just pour over that pickling liquid and let that sit for a while. We also whipped up a jalapeno coriander mayo, starting off with one egg, one cup of oil. With a stick blender, create an emulsification, then add in one jalapeno, a whole bunch of lime juice, salt, coriander, pepper, and give that a quick pulse. It was really good. Next, we started on a fish sauce caramel type sauce, which we took shallots, ginger, and Thai chilies, sauteed those in a little bit of oil until they softened a bit, added chicken stock and brown sugar, let that reduce down until it was nappe, finishing it up with a bit of fish sauce and lime juice to taste. Let that sit for a bit and incorporate, and then strain it out. Like a true pro, forget to turn on your camera and record half of you cutting up the pork. But I like it just shy of falling apart for this recipe, and then I doused it in that fish sauce caramel. Then, all you have to do is toss all of that in a bowl and try to make it look pretty. I garnished it with a little bit of cucumbers, uh, mint, cilantro, and jalapenos. But you can do whatever you want with this. It's your rice bowl that's going in your mouth. So just enjoy and have fun with it. I did really enjoy this though. It's super tasty. It's kind of like a banh mi, but banh mi means bread. So you can't really call it a banh mi rice bowl because that makes no sense. And I'm learning how to stream on Twitch. That's where we made this rice bowl. So come say hi. I'll leave the link. And as always, I appreciate you and I hope you have a great day.